Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 2409. There's an amazing replacement for the Analysis Tool Pack. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Analysis Tool Pack, you're saying, wasn't that replaced? Well, hey, in the old days, the Analysis Tool Pack had 89 functions. And sure, those became part of Excel in 2007, but it also had this other thing, this data analysis uh, dialog box with 19 different tools. And if you turn on the Analysis Tool Pack on the Data tab, far right-hand side, uh, those tools are still there. They're ancient, they're clunky, but they're the only way to do some of these things. This is a crazy winding story with a lot of connections in it. Last Tuesday, someone reports a bug with Excel to BB. This is our add-in that lets you take an Excel workbook and post it to the Mr. Excel message board in a way that people can copy it to their own workbook. And some people who were on the Insiders Beta said, hey, we're getting a bug and we traced it down to application.goto not working in VBA. Now, the good news is Microsoft is aware of this bug and a fix is coming. But then a couple of days later, a friend of mine is working through George Mount's new book, Advancing into Analytics. I know George from his Facebook posts. He posts a lot about Excel. You've probably seen his post. His new book is out. And George is talking about the analysis tool pack, descriptive statistics. The person reading the book tries to use it, won't work. I try it, won't work. And I say, hey, I bet that the analysis tool pack is using application.goto as well. All right, now, Dan Filestra, spreadsheet legend, author of Solver, me, Bill Jellin, getting too old and losing a few brain cells in my head. I mixed up Solver in the analysis tool pack. I know Dan, I met him at a couple of conferences. I have his email. I reached out to him. I said, hey, Dan, you think there's any chance that the analysis tool pack is using application.goto? Dan was very nice. He didn't say, Bill, you've mixed me up Solver and analysis tool pack. He says, well, you know, I don't have the source code for the analysis tool pack, but it seems likely that they might be using it. It's a good theory. But here at Frontline Solvers, we've re rewritten the analysis tool pack just based on what we think it was doing. And our version is free. It works with Excel and Excel Online. The analysis tool pack using VBA, of course, won't. Uh, and I'll add my two cents. It is a cleaner interface than the old one. So here's what you do on the Insert tab. On the Insert tab, go to Get Add-ins. And we're going to search for XL. Two word letters, minor, like that. And there it is, the Excel Minor Analysis Tool Pack. You click Add, I agree, continue. And over here on the right-hand side are the 19 items that the old Analysis Tool Pack offered us. And let's just try that Descriptive Statistics. So we'll click on Descriptive Statistics. It opens up. The input range is here. I don't have labels in the first range. And the output range, I'll just choose a cell over here and click OK and very quickly it provides all of the information that the old analysis tool pack would have done. Okay now most people don't even know the analysis tool pack is there and that these 19 tools are there uh, but for anyone who's trying to use it and you're just frustrated it doesn't work in Excel online or maybe it's affected by this bug uh, before Microsoft squashes the bug or you're just looking for a cleaner interface this is a beautiful beautiful set of tools from Dan Feilstra, uh, you know, just go out to the Insert tab. Dan, of course, has a lot of great premium versions of solvers at Frontline Systems, so he knows all about Excel and writing add-ins for Excel and these new add-ins here that work in Excel Online. All right, so for your, any of you who have George Mount's book and you're struck by this uh, weird bug in the Insider's Fast Beta, or you're just looking for a better version of the Analysis Tool Pack, check out Excel Miner from Dan Foster. Well, this is the part where I always promote a book. Hey, why don't you go out and check out George Mount's book, Advancing into Analytics from Excel to Python and R. It sounds awesome. If you like these videos, please down below, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Feel free to post any questions or comments down in the YouTube comments below. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Netcast, Mr. Excel. So this is crazy. I got this green circle behind me. I know it doesn't cover the whole thing, but I think it helps improve uh, the lighting. My problem, uh, behind me there's 308 little glass block windows, and if I'm recording at night or early in the morning, you can see me. But the perpetual problem is if I do anything in the afternoon or in the evening, when that's backlit, I'm so dark, you can't see what's going on. So I got this little thing on Amazon. It's either blue or green. 
slips on the back of your chair. And I think by putting that there, it fools the camera into lighting me instead of lighting those windows back there. But I look like a dork with just a round circle around me. I don't know. What do you think?